Are you struggling with thinning hair and excessive shedding? You're not alone. Hair loss is a common issue that affects millions of people worldwide, with up to 50% of men and women experiencing pattern hair loss by the age of 50. The hair growth cycle is a complex process that involves three main phases. The anagen phase, where hair actively grows. The catagen phase, a transitional period where the hair stops growing. And the telogen phase, where hair rests and sheds and anagen restarts. This cycle is heavily influenced by various factors, including genetics, hormones, and importantly, the nutrients we consume. A balanced diet rich in essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants is crucial for maintaining healthy hair growth. These nutrients help support the hair follicles, promote blood flow, and protect against oxidative stress, all of which are vital for the hair growth cycle to function optimally. However, the story doesn't end there. When it comes to supplements, the picture is more complex. While supplements can be helpful in addressing specific nutrient deficiencies, the overuse or misuse of certain supplements may do more harm than good, leading to hair loss and thinning. In this video, we'll dive deep into the top supplements you should avoid if you're experiencing hair loss. We'll explore the science behind how these supplements can disrupt the delicate balance of the hair growth cycle as well. Let's start with selenium. As an antioxidant, it helps protect hair follicles from damage caused by free radicals and supports hair growth cycle. The recommended daily intake of selenium is approximately 55 micrograms. Selenium-rich foods include Brazil nuts, seafood like tuna and mackerel, meat, poultry, eggs, and whole grains such as brown rice and whole wheat bread. However, the widespread availability of selenium supplements on the market can lead to overconsumption and even toxicity if not used properly. Consuming more than 400 micrograms of selenium per day can cause toxicity, which manifests in various symptoms. These include hair loss, nausea and vomiting, brittle and discolored nails, fatigue and irritability. Given the potential risks associated with selenium supplements, it's generally more advisable to obtain selenium from natural food sources rather than relying on supplements. Next on our list is vitamin A, another essential nutrient for hair growth. It helps regulate the hair follicle stem cells, ensuring that the right number of follicles are in the active growth phase. Plus, moderate levels of vitamin A can even increase the number of hair follicles in antigen, preparing them to grow actively. It's found in two forms in the human diet, preformed vitamin A and provitamin A carotenoids. Preformed vitamin A or retinoids come from animal sources such as dairy products, eggs, fish, and organ meats. This form of vitamin A is readily available for the body to use directly. Provitamin A carotenoids are plant pigments that include beta-carotene, alpha-carotene, and beta-cryptoxanthin. These compounds are found in a variety of fruits and vegetables, such as sweet potatoes, carrots, and dark leafy greens. The body converts these carotenoids into preformed vitamin A, which is then used for various bodily functions. However, Excess vitamin A intake can have negative effects on hair health. High levels can cause the hair follicles to enter the telogen phase, a resting phase where the hair follicles stop growing and prepare for shedding. Furthermore, using synthetic vitamin A treatments like acetretin or over-supplementing vitamin A can result in hair loss and reduced sebaceous gland function which is essential for maintaining healthy hair. When it comes to bodybuilding supplements, Anabolic androgenic steroids are especially concerning because they are most likely to induce hair loss. They are synthetic substances derived from testosterone, the primary male sex hormone. These steroids are designed to mimic the effects of testosterone in the body, particularly its muscle-building properties. Athletes and bodybuilders often use steroids to enhance muscle growth, strength, and endurance. However, their use also comes with risks and side effects beyond their intended muscle-building effects. They can trigger miniaturization of hair follicles and shorten hair growth cycle from the usual two to six years down to just a few months. As a result, hair grows back weaker and finer, eventually leading to noticeable hair thinning and baldness. Other possible side effects include skin acne, breast enlargement known as gynecomastia, aggressive behavior and irritability, depressive mood states, feelings of low libido, testicular atrophy, and decreased semen production. To our knowledge, other commonly used bodybuilding supplements such as protein supplements, creatine, beta-alanine, and beta-hydroxybetamethylbutyrate don't seem to have any adverse effect on hair growth and health.
The last item on our list is medications and not supplements. Actually, some widely used medications have been reported to induce hair loss, mostly through a mechanism called telogen effluvium. In the normal scalp, 85% is anagen hair and 15% is telogen hair. Anagen hair is actively growing hair, whereas telogen hair is resting hair. A few hairs are in the catagen or transition phase. During telogen effluvium, 30 to 50% of hair follicles shift into the telogen phase, resulting in diffuse and excess hair shedding. Psychoactive drugs like antidepressants and mood stabilizers, anti-epileptic drugs, birth control pills, high blood pressure drugs, blood thinners, and vitamin A-based drugs like isotretinoin and acetretin are common examples of medication-induced hair loss. So, if you've started taking any new meds lately, it's a good idea to check in with your doctor or skin specialist. They can help figure out if your pills are behind your hair loss or if something else is going on. While supplements can be beneficial, it's crucial to avoid overconsumption, as this can disrupt the delicate balance of your hair growth cycle. Stick to the recommended daily intakes and prioritize obtaining nutrients from whole food sources. Be proactive in discussing any medications or supplements you're taking with your doctor. They may be able to suggest alternatives or adjustments to minimize the impact on your hair. Also, if you want to learn about what supplemental vitamins to avoid with prostate cancer, watch the next video.